Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to show you in this video is the absolutely easiest way to add sideloaded apps to an Android TV device. This includes things like the Nvidia Shield, the Mi Box, the Air TV, and though I haven't used it on a Android TV powered television, I would imagine the same thing applies, though, like I said, I haven't had a chance to test it on an actual Android TV television. But this is what you're going to do if you have any of the consoles that are out there. You're going to start off at the Google Play Store. And what's really cool about this is that you don't need to do anything tricky. A lot of side loading dev yeah, depends on things like the ES File Explorer and other things like that. But all you have to do is download an app that is available right here in the ES, uh, sorry, in the uh, Google Play Store. And it's called Puffin TV. As soon as you write P-U-F-F-I, it comes right up. Puffin TV, as you see, says it's a fast web browser. And that's exactly what it is. It's a full-on browser that you can use on an Android TV device without the need for any kind of mouse toggle you know which is a cool program but you can use it without any kind of mouse toggle you can use it without hooking up a separate air mouse to your box and you can browse all you want so we'll just jump out and I'll just show you it goes to the end of your line boom Puffin TV. You might be familiar with the Puffin browser because it's been around for a while in different forms. It was one of the first ways to get Flash onto iOS devices. But you see what it does is it creates bookmarks and things for different websites. It sort of comes with a couple of things in place already. But where you find the real power and helpfulness for your needs is when you go into the search. browser what it's going to do is it's going to open up into the Bing search engine apparently these guys are you know, I, don't, I don't know why it doesn't open up into Google if you want Google you can go to Google just as you know, all you got to do is search for it Misspelled Google. All right, G O O G L E. So tricky, right? All right. So we're in Google. Ta-da! All right. So once you are wherever you want to be as far as your browsing, in order to sideload. All you have to do is go to the websites where the apps that you want are. So let's say you want to get the latest Cody build onto your NVIDIA Shield and it isn't available in the Google Play Store. All you have to do is go to it. And so something I need to point out is that you notice that you've got a cursor here. This cursor, you can control it by just using the directional pad on your remote. Everything I'm doing is just using the regular NVIDIA Shield remote, and I don't have to do anything in particular to make it work. I don't have to add an extra app or anything. And, and you, let me show you. You can easily just drag the page along just by going down. At the same time, if there's left to right functionality, you can use that too. But here we are at the Kodi website. So you want to go to download something new. Makes it pretty easy to find. Downloads, boom. And now we're on the downloads page. In the case of an NVIDIA Shield, obviously you want something like Android. 
and, and I don't know if you can tell in the video, but this is optimized for a TV. Like on my television, it's a nice size. It isn't. I'm not squinting. It's it's really big, easy to see. So if you want to get that development build right now, you can get Cody Leia, which is the current development build at the moment. I don't particularly want to download Cody Leia, so I'm just going to go ahead and back out of that. If you hit back, you get this screen here. You can go back a page and back a page back to the browser okay so let's say you want to get something from Aptoid. Aptoid's a popular third-party type thing you can go to the mobile Aptoid site and again the helpful thing about this is you can download you can download the Aptoid app for your device but once again once you do that it doesn't operate correctly because Aptoid is devised for a mobile browser or a mobile device like a phone or a tablet while the website is a website and you can navigate you can go to it and you can download whatever you want from it so let's say you're you know, you actually want a messenger. I don't even think I'm going to do that. Not not for an NVIDIA Shield. But let's say you want to download the Clash of the Clans. You just click on it. You download. Tell it to download to your device, but you can download it to your Google Drive or something like that if you want to. You can create a whole library of things, you know, for later. And it is downloading. We can leave this, and then you go to something, one of your downloader programs. Like, I, I like the TV File Commander. I find it more simple to use than the ES File Explorer. So on our menu here, go to Downloads, and there's Clash of the Clans. Ready to, uh, ready to add. Like I said, once, once you have Clash of the Clans, it might be difficult to use on an NVIDIA Shield. You'd need an air mouse at that point. But if you want to add it, it's very, very easy. And you don't have to do anything in particular to get it to it. Alright. So, this is going to apply to whatever websites you want to go to. And once you find a website that you like, if you want to be able to get back to it quickly, like let's say you want to stick with Aptoid, you can back out, go to the Aptoid homepage, and if you hit back on your remote, you can add a bookmark. All right. So now, when you go to the app to the home page for Puffin TV, like the start page, there in your bookmarks is Aptoid now. See, and this works for everything. If you want to go to APK Mirror or something like that, any other APK websites, you can go right to them and easily use them to download things to your device. But that is that. I mean, it's really that easy. If you haven't used this before and you've been struggling with other devices, you might be kicking yourself right now. But you can stop kicking yourself, download this program, and enjoy. I hope you found that helpful. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. I would love it if you would subscribe and share this video because I think that a lot of people are going to really like it. As always, stream on, my friends.